Good morning and welcome to our uh, midweek services here at Park Avenue Missionary Baptist Church. We're glad that you've joined us. Our pastor, Ellie Campbell, is here today and uh, we'll be uh, having a, a, a prayer and uh, going over our sick list and then pastor will be uh, teaching us from the first, uh, first Peter, the book of first Peter, uh, beginning at the, uh, why do I have first Philippians. Philippians, I'm sorry. I'm going, going brain dead this morning. Y'all pray for me. Uh, we're coming from Philippians, the first chapter and the seventh verse. And if you need an outline, uh, just uh, email or call Sister Joni, um, and she will send one uh, to you. Uh, we also want to remind you that uh, we have a, a chat room uh, on, uh, on our uh, broadcast here. And if you have a question for Pastor during Bible study, feel free to, to uh, send uh, uh, your, your question through the chat room and we'll be monitoring the chat room and uh, uh, hope to see some questions from you. Uh, Pastor really does enjoy the interaction between you and himself, and uh, that way, as he has said, it slows him down. Uh, so uh, again, uh, feel free to chat. Also next week, beginning at 11 a.m., uh, we're going to start teaching our Sunday school lesson, and we'll have the, um, have the outlines up for you on uh, Wednesday. I will, uh, I will uh, attempt to have those done and in Sister Joni's hands, so you can also have access to, to those. So the way the, uh, the program will work beginning next week is at 11 a.m. we will uh, open up and uh, do our Sunday school lesson uh, till about 11.30. And then uh, we'll take about 15 minutes to go through our prayer list. We'll have prayer. And then at 12.45, uh, 11.45 to 12.30, Pastor Campbell will continue teaching from the book of Hebrews. So uh, with that said, we are extremely excited to have you here today. Uh, we have an extensive list of individuals who uh, are requesting prayer. And of course, we know that we all need prayer. And so we want to uh, remind you to uh, remember the bereaved families among us, the family of Sister Esther Barty, uh, the family of Sister Marnie Smith, uh, the family of Brother Jack Kane, the Burns and Hewling families, and uh, a special prayer for, for my wife. She lost her sister. Her sister passed away in Oklahoma uh, last Friday, and so lift her up in prayer. And then Brother uh, uh, Ira Hale and family, uh, uh, his aunt passed away uh, this week. So we, we have a, a lot of people to continue to hold up in prayer. We have families who have lost loved ones who we didn't name. So please uh, remember them. Then we have special requests, uh, of course, for Brother Bill Cross and his, uh, and his wife, good wife, Minnie. Brother Bill is still in the hospital and uh, uh, continue to pray for him. Uh, and the doctors and, and the nurses that are providing his care. Brother and Sister Gregory are asking that we pray for Dr. and Mrs. Michael Nick. Uh, their baby passed away, so hold them up uh, in prayer. Uh, the Rick Thomas family, uh, Michael Fountain, Jillian Irvin, and Deora Wilson family. So we want to uh, keep them uh, lifted up in prayer. Also, please remember our uh, service men and women in, in uniform, uh, those who are uh, putting their lives on the line in defense of, of their country, uh, and whether they're in, in a zone uh, where uh, uh, their you know, life, uh, you know, they're putting their lives out in a zone or whether it's a zone that's more peaceful, 
we want to remember to lift them up in prayer. We also want to remember our super seniors, um, and uh, we, we name them uh, every, every week. Uh, we want to hold them up, Sister Moss, Sister Miley Davis, uh, Deacon and Sister uh, uh, Williams, uh, Elijah Williams, uh, remembering our brother, good brother James Swilling, um, Sister Grace Purifoy, uh, and uh, we also want to remember, oh, Brother Earl Strother, Sister Lula Koopa, Cooper, Henrietta Moore, and uh, Hilda Moore. We want to remember them in, in prayer. Uh, we also want to lift up folks that aren't necessarily on the list, and I, I went and found uh, our, uh, our church uh, uh, membership directory, and uh, uh, we, we want to name some names we haven't named, Sister Barbara Didot and Vichelsia. We want to lift them up in, in prayer. We want to keep, uh, keep them lifted up. Uh, Deacon Joe and Jackie Hester, we lift them up in prayer. Uh, Jade and Sandra Adeyeyi, uh, we want to lift them up in prayer. Uh, Brothers Marshall and Tracy Anderson, uh, we want to keep them lifted up. Sister Catherine Blair, uh, just to name a, a few. Sister Gay Caroline, uh, we want to lift them, uh, lift her up in, in prayer. And we've been missing you, Sister Betty Christmas and uh, Sister Carpenter, Sister Mary Copes, um, Linda Collins and Naomi Bondman, uh, Cecilia, their sister Cecilia Collins, we want to lift them up in prayer. Uh, Sister Belvia Douglas, uh, we wanna, we're praying for you, keeping you up in prayer. And Tanya Denson and Monique Black, uh, God bless you, we want to keep you lifted up. Uh, Sister Cheryl Eugene, who's a regular on our prayer call and also on, on uh, Wednesday mornings, we wanna lift, lift uh, Sister Eugene up in prayer and thank her for her support. Uh, Dolores Frank, we haven't seen Sister Frank in a while, so we want to lift them up. Uh, Trayvon and Bessie Gaylord, uh, we wanna lift them, uh, lift them up. Uh, Gerald Harrison uh, and Sister Dion Hicks, uh, Willie and Hendracine Herring, uh, LaVon uh, Hunter, want to lift you up, Sister Marilyn Jones and Brother Saul Miller, we want to lift them up uh, in, in prayer. Then of course, uh, Sister Patty Pedway, uh, uh, Patty, I hope uh, everything is well with you, we want to keep you, keep you lifted up, and uh, uh, Sister Carolyn Williamson, want to lift them up in prayer. Uh, we want to call out uh, Deacon and Sister Jameson. Uh, we're thinking about you, Brother and Sister Thomas. We're thinking about you, uh, Brother Darnell, Sister Sherry Lawrence. Uh, we're lifting you up in prayer. Uh, Jamie Johnson and her, her husband, her family, we're lifting them up in, in prayer. Uh, Jerome Henderson and family, lift up in prayer. Sister Newell uh, and, and all, all the Newell clan. Uh, we also want to remember Sister Rosie Rogers and Sister Geneva Scott, uh, brother and sister uh, uh, Chestine uh, uh, Saunders, our good members. Sister Joanne Sims and, and many more. We want to we want to just recognize you and let you know that, that we're thinking about you. Valerie Petty, uh, we want to lift her up in prayer. Uh, Deacon and Sister Corey Peterson, we lift you up in prayer. So uh, we miss you, Pastor misses you. And uh, as he said, uh, he, he said last week that he looks at where you sat uh, during Sunday service and, and thinks about you. So uh, uh, please, Keep him lifted up in prayer as uh, he continues to shepherd us uh, through, uh, through this uh, trying time here in our, our, uh, in our world, actually. So with that, uh, we want to go down in prayer. 
uh, for these individuals. Uh, we have a lot to pray for. We have certainly a lot to be thankful for. And uh, uh, we have a lot to be, uh, be in prayer, prayer about. So let's, uh, let's look to the Lord in prayer. Our gracious Heavenly Father, creator of the universe, uh, we come to you humbly now, thanking you first of all for uh, your immutability. We thank you that you're omniscient, that you're omnipresent, uh, that you're uh, omniscient, you know all, you see all, and we just thank you for who you are. Uh, we thank you for your love and the fact that you sent your only begotten son to die in our stead and he died, he was buried and rose again for our justification, ascended into the heavens and seated and is now seated at your right hand, uh, mediating for us. And then Father, you didn't leave us alone, you sent the Holy Spirit who indwells us, who keeps us, Father, and uh, we just thank you for his power, we thank you for his comfort, um, we thank you for uh, his gift that uh, uh, from you to, to us. We thank you for Park Avenue Missionary Baptist Church and this place of worship and all those who worship here, uh, all those that uh, um, are members here, we ask that you be with them, that you keep them according to your will. Father, we pray that your will be done uh, in our lives and here in your creation uh, we don't always understand what's going on, but uh, we praise and thank you for who you are, and, and we, we just uh, have faith, Father, in, in you, knowing that you're sovereign and everything works according to your will. We ask now, Father, that you not only bless our church, but every church that opens in your name and worships you in spirit and in truth, every gospel preacher and pastor that preaches the, uh, uh, the word, uh, the unadulterated word, uh, the truth uh, to us. We ask that you touch them according to your will. And now, Father, we come to you on behalf of the members whose names have been um, uh, uh, named this morning. Uh, we pray that you be with them, that you come close to them, those that are sick, that you heal them according to your will. And uh, for those families whose loved ones have gone home to be with you, we pray that you strengthen them and keep them in their time of bereavement. Father, we realize that uh, this, this is a world that uh, there's constantly something going on and uh, as, as men, we don't always understand. We know we don't have control, but uh, you do have the control. And so we ask, Father, that you, uh, that you bless and, and keep those who you've allowed to be in public office, to be our, our political and, and uh, uh, leaders, that you guide them in the way that they should go, that they will make the right and proper decisions for all the citizens, Father. And we ask that you do this in the city, in the county, the state, and the govern federal government level uh, as we go forward. Father, we ask that you bless our men and women at arms who are in the service to this country, that you keep them according to your will. And then, Father, uh, we, we thank you uh, for, for this, uh, this team, for this broadcasting team who, who brings uh, the service to us uh, on a regular basis. The, the, we pray that you keep them uh, in your care and bless them uh, as they continue to minister here at Park Avenue Missionary Baptist Church. So Father, now as we go into our uh, teaching service today with our pastor, we pray that you take him down into the depths of your word, help him rightly divide the word of truth and stay on the narrow path uh, going forward. And give us, Father, we pray, listening ears and hearts to receive what you've given your man of God today, and that, uh, that we may be edified and that you, Father, will be glorified. So again, Father, we just thank you. Uh, we, we lift our hands and our voices to you, uh, knowing that you are the Lord God, 
and we pray that your will will be done uh, in our lives and in this plane that uh, we presently occupy. So keep us, we pray, and these blessings we ask in the name of Jesus, and for his sake we pray, amen, and thank God, amen. All right, we thank you. We ask you to con remain prayerful. Uh, Pastor Campbell's coming to us now from uh, the book of Philippians, the first chapter, beginning at the seventh verse. And so let's follow along. As I said earlier, uh, don't hesitate to uh, ask your questions in our chat box. Pastor would love to field them uh, from you, and that helps him uh, maintain his connection with you. So with that, we'll say good morning to Pastor Campbell and let him get started. Morning, Pastor. Good morning. Bless all of you this morning, our Cabinet Church family, and our friends. We're glad to be here by the grace of God. We present the lesson for the book of 